Okay, I've populated a sample here with uh, notes in the treble clef and uh, a single verse of lyrics uh, below the, the staff. Uh, and now I'm, I'm going to, um, to resize uh, the music and the lyrics uh, and uh, move measures around between systems in order to uh, uh, get things and get my page layout to my liking. Um, I apologize if uh, in the course of going through this I cover things that you already know about, uh, but uh, this is my first time talking with you about Finale, and so we're going to learn what each other knows. <coughs> so the first thing that we're going to do is uh, change the size of our staff and the note heads within. Um, this will also cause the text to shrink, so after we've adjusted the size of our music, we'll then have to use the lyrics tool to adjust the size of our text. So, first we're going to shrink the uh, treble clef down to 75% of its current size, and to do that we're going to use Finale's uh, resize tool. It's the button located up at the top of the screen here, uh, with a percent symbol in it. You'll just click that to make it be your uh, active tool. And then once you've selected that as your active tool, then go down and click anywhere in the treble, treble uh, clef. And click, and you should get a dialog box that says Resize Staff. We will choose to resize this staff to 75% of its original size. And we'll also accept the default at the bottom, uh, asking or specifying that we're going to uh, resize this staff beginning in system one and going through to the end of the piece. And I'll just click OK. And you'll see that the treble clef uh, shrank. Uh, you'll also see that our lyrics shrank. So we'll fix that in a bit. Uh, but first, we need to repeat the process with the bass clef. 75%. Click OK. And uh, now uh, I want to uh, uh, increase the size of the lyric text to keep it readable. So I'm going to go back up to the lyrics tool. That's the quill and inkwell, uh, which you've already been using, obviously. I'm going to open up my lyrics window. Uh, this is my verse 1. I'm just going to select it all and go to the text menu and choose size, increase, the keyboard shortcut for which on, uh, on a, a Windows PC is control shift period. And that did just increase the size of the lyrics. Uh, I'm going to hit control shift period now. Once more, and the size of our, our lyrics is popping back up. So we've got a nice small staff, small note heads. Uh, I can go ahead and close my lyrics window now because I've got the lyrics the way that I want them. Uh, so now the last thing that I want to do is just tidy up uh, and get the entire verse uh, up onto one system. So I'm going to use my measure tool, which is also located up at the top. Select that, make it the current tool, and I'm going to take it and I'm going to go down here and select, just click inside uh, the last measure, uh, which I want to move up to uh, this system up at the top, and with my measure select tool, I'll just tap the up arrow on my keyboard, and now I've got all four measures exactly where I want them, uh, and uh, um, so I can. I'm free now to proceed on with my next line, uh, or I can go ahead and select uh, the extraneous measures that I'm not using. Hit delete. Continue to do that all the way up through the end of the piece if I so choose. Hit delete. And now I've got my score, which is just a very simple four-measure score with a finishing bar line at the end.